Hi, I'm Jamal and welcome to GIS News in 5, the At Home Edition, where we'll be recapping the top government news and events from the past week from our homes. So let's get right into it. Now, despite the easing of restrictions this week and the decline in the COVID-19 positivity rate to less than 5%, Chairman of the Cabinet Subcommittee on COVID-19, Senator Dr. Jerome Walcott, is urging persons to follow the protocols established by the Ministry of Health and Wellness at all times. Speaking during a recent press conference, Senator Walcott said that while the recent health statistics have been trending in the right direction, the country was not out of the woods and the public needed to remain vigilant. And in other news, a flexible work arrangement policy for the Barbados Public Service has been approved by Cabinet and it is already in effect. According to Director General of Human Resources in the Ministry of the Public Service, Gail Atkins, the new arrangements are expected to result in a better work-life balance for public officers and temporary employees. For a full explanation of each type, please visit our website, gisbarbados.gov.bb, and search for Flexible Working Arrangements. Speaking of innovative and necessary work arrangements, members of the disabled community should have more employment options in the future. Here's Sharifa with the details. Thanks, Jamal. Minister of People Empowerment and Elder Affairs Cynthia Ford says that several initiatives to improve the access by persons with disabilities to educational and employment opportunities are set to come on stream in the new financial year. Speaking during the launch of a redevelopment project on the grounds of the National Disabilities Unit's headquarters, the Minister disclosed that the unit intends to work with the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment to design and implement programs to enhance the employability of persons with disabilities. For more on this story, please visit our website gisbarbados.gov.bb. Speaking of employment, this week's Opportunity Calls has several vacancies. In this edition, we're highlighting a temporary teaching post at the Christchurch Foundation School. Take a listen. The Board of Management Christchurch Foundation School invites applications from suitably qualified candidates to fill the vacant post of temporary teacher, French and Spanish. Applicants should have a degree in the relevant subject area from a recognized university. A diploma or certificate in education would be an asset. Applications should be accompanied by curriculum vitae, two recent testimonials, certified copies of qualifications and the names and addresses of two referees. The deadline for submissions is Wednesday, March 31st. To hear about more of the latest job and educational opportunities, visit our SoundCloud page and search for Opportunity Calls. Now, last week on our must-watch list, we told you all about the Ministry of Agriculture's Backyard Gardening Essentials series. In this week's episode, the spotlight will be on planting sweet potatoes and cassava. Take a look. So there's anything I gotta pay attention to, like top or bottom, because I sure if I plant these, something might end up not looking right. Well, we have some small nodes here. You see that? Those nodes point towards the top. Okay. So you know that this is the top of the plant. Mm -hmm. So I take off the top and the bottom which is the root so in between here we'll be doing our cutting okay okay so hold it for me be sure to check our youtube channel the bgis for the full video and happy gardening jamal back to you thanks sharifa and finally as work arrangements continue to evolve in this covid19 environment here are some terms you should know For more information, visit gisbarbados.gov.bb and search for the subject you'd like to know more about. That's it for today, but you can join us next week right here for another recap. And be sure to check the description below for all the links to the stories mentioned in this edition. And don't forget to click the red button to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The BGIS. You can also like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at our handle, at GISBarbados. I'm Jamal. Stay home and please stay safe.